<laughs> good morning, good morning. What up? Good morning, good morning, everyone. Good morning. So my girl back though. <laughs> Good morning, good morning. <laughs> Top of the morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's so blessed to see y'all this morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> hey, Tadisha. <laughs> what up, dog? So we trying this Facebook uh, Periscope, this Facebook Live Periscope thing again. So um, we can, we kind of getting it together, but uh, it's coming, it's coming together. Good morning, Laura. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Just gonna wait a few uh, snack, a few snickets. Uh, I'm, I was reading and speaking at the same time. She said she's sneaking on. <laughs> Lauren. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, Lauren. I'm telling. I'm finna call your job and tell him. You uh, you got your phone. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> well, good morning. Thank you for joining us this Top morning. Top of the morning, everybody. Good morning, what up? Good morning, what up? Good morning. She told you. Top of the morning. How is she? Good morning. Good morning. How is she? Just gonna give it a few more moments. We're gonna get to rolling in this joint in, in this piece. That's not like when I say the word joy. So. <laughs> yeah, it implies that we're doing things that we shouldn't be doing. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. No. Good morning, lady. Good morning, Shatendra. Top of the morning. All right, Periscope. We need y'all to hold us up this morning. We need y'all to tap the key, screen key, while key, you're listening. Uh, key, key, and supposedly working key, and tap the screen. Key, key. <laughs> Release those hearts this That's morning. Me. Or while you, if you're rebroadcasting. If you haven't liked our page, The Marriage Builders on Facebook, Tell your game. Uh, My do kid that Good as morning. soon as possible and like that page, that Facebook page. Follow us. We have some interesting things coming up. We have a marriage seminar on Good morning, September, Sugar Plum. The, <laughs> September the 11th. We have a marriage seminar, a marriage workshop. Absolutely. Um, and then on, uh, in coming up in March, we have a couple's retreat. Amen. A couple's retreat coming up in March. It's going to be awesome at the Le Bourge. I can't even say it right. The Le Bourge hey, mommy, Casino. Hey, hey, baby. My daughter looks oh. hot, man. She just woke up. Okay, tell him hey. Oh, mm -hmm. no. Look at her. <laughs> I woke up. Okay. Okay. I'll watch TV. <laughs> at the Le Bourge Casino in, uh, in Lake Charles. So, um, the La Bridge Resort, we're not going to the casino park. <laughs> Trina, what up? Good morning. We're not going to the casino park. Yeah, I guess, I guess some, <laughs> some people might, you know. Hi, Trina. I feel, hey, Trina. I feel good about Hi, Trina. Good I feel to good see about you this my morning. chances. Aww. I'm up here doing this marriage retreat thing. <laughs> Think I'm going to go ahead and shoot me a quarter or something in the slot machine. Yes, I'm and then if it. I win, I'm going to say, I got the key, the key, the key. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna go ahead and get started. This morning we're talking about um hi Trina! I'm so excited about that. I'm so excited about Trina, that. what up dog? We met Trina in Japan. Word. Awesome, awesome, up. awesome. Amen. Top of the morning, Trina. Um, this morning it is Tuesday, August the 9th, I think it is. And uh, we are coming again to you as the Marriage Builders. Again, the Marriage Builders. Like us on Facebook, the Marriage Builders. Amen. Follow us on YouTube, the Marriage Builders. Follow us on Periscope, the Marriage Builders. Amen. So we are coming this morning, and the title of the topic today is "Together We Win." Word Amen. Up. Together we win. Together we win. Squared up. So and down. last week we talked. We had a subject, and it was fighting fair. And then the next day, I forgot what the subject was, but we were talking along the same lines of fighting. And I told Pastor Ron there was some things that I kept getting after that. Good morning, Kenya. Good morning. And it was things that I was getting after that that uh, we didn't get a chance to. I didn't get a chance to say or elaborate. Elaborate. On. But um, I wanted to do that on this morning while we were trying to uh, gather our topic from last night into this morning. So um, together we win. Together we win. What do I mean by that? Okay, so we have done plenty of marriage counselings in our time. We have done a lot of couples counseling because um, everybody that we counsel is not married yet. You know what I'm saying? We pray for marriage, but right on. It's not uh, always that. Good morning, that Tamika. Way. 
and we accept it, you know what I'm saying? But we find a lot of times that there are couples who battle one another, and we have to point that out. There are couples who they can't understand why they can't get it right, they can't understand what's wrong, what's broken, and then we look at it and we be like, it's y'all. As a couple, when we say I do or when we decide to get together in a marriage or in a relationship, we have to know that we are a team. There is no I in team. And we have to, whenever situations and circumstances come up, uh, come up we have to fight together Absolutely. against the situation, against the problem. If we are in a marriage or we are in a relationship and we are on opposing sides, we will never win. Amen. Our team will fail every time and everything attached to our team, everything that benefits from us being together will fail. You know what I'm saying? Because we are on opposing sides. We cannot be on, we cannot be each other's opposition in a relationship or in a marriage. We have to fight together. We have to um, go to war together. We have to battle together. Amen. You know what I'm saying? And that takes time. It absolutely takes time because you have two people who come from two totally different backgrounds, who have two different ways of thinking, who have two different ways of resol resolving conflict. So it takes time for us to learn how one another thinks and then figure out what works best for the team. Amen. Amen? So we have to fight and we have to win together. There is no I. There is no me. There is no my. You know what I'm saying? And we fight Find that a whole whole lot and we just want to talk about that a bit a bit this morning right on and right on I am so glad my wife gave me a chance to say something <laughs> um, this wonderful illustrious morning I was actually trying to find a Bible verse and I think I found it um, let me see if I can pull it yep, up yep. again it's Mark uh, 325 and it's real simple and it says this and our house divided against itself Cannot stand. Amen. A house divided Amen. against Mark three twenty five. A house divided against itself shall not stand. You gotta understand that there is a common goal. There's a common theme when we come together. Uh, that's again pointed to one of the things that we always say when we're dealing with couples. You gotta know your why. Yes. Uh, if I know why I'm married, or if I know why I'm in this relationship. I completely understand now that this person that I'm married to is no longer the enemy. Mm -hmm. Just because we have a difference in opinion yes. or we have a difference in approach, that person himself is not the enemy. You got to look at it as almost crazy. If if this person is the enemy and we're supposed to be together, the Bible says a man shall leave his mother and his father and cleave to his wife. If we're coming together to cleave together to do something great, why would she be my enemy and why would I be her enemy? Why would I be her worst critic or the one that always tearing her down purposely? Yes. So what happens is a lot of times we take our attention off the issue and we try to put it on the person. You never you never wanted me to be this anyway. All you wanted me to do was work. And how come y'all? No. Didn't y'all get this understanding before y'all got together? Yep. So now that y'all together, y'all gotta. Sometimes you gotta re-verify this thing. Hey, I'm not against you. We're not fighting against each other. We have a common goal. Our common goal is to make sure that we live the best life we possibly can. Absolutely. That our kids never want for anything, and that our gang, our grandkids are spending money that we made. Mm -hmm. That's our goal. Yep. So if that's our goal, and I know she loves me, and she know I love her, when did it turn against, return to a me against her kind of deal? Mm -hmm. So that's what we said. Together we win. The Bible says that a threefold cord is not easily broken. So you you gotta you, we gotta we gotta make sure that we understand that we're dealing with an issue and not dealing with a person. Yeah. And you gotta be mindful of that in your heart when you start when you start. We we're talking about organizing bills, but you start taking jabs at me as a person. Then we're we're not together. We're divided against ourselves. Yeah, we're divided against the goal. Or I, I I see it this way, you see it this way, where you do your thing and I do mine. What what part of the game is that? It's dividing your house, and that's the enemy's tactic. Absolutely. His tactic is to divide and conquer. Absolutely. So if he can divide you in your marriage, you know what I'm saying? Your marriage is supposed to be the one relationship in your life where you are solid as a rock. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like... It's supposed to be in your adult life. You know, yes, you have a solid relationship with your parents. You know, some people don't. Everybody don't. Do not. You know what I'm saying? But your marriage is the one thing. We didn't ask, and this is, I, I say this all the time. Me and Pastor talk about it. I didn't ask to be born 
to my mother. Absolutely. I didn't ask to be born to my father, but I chose to be married to my husband. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So if I chose to be married to my husband, then this is the place. I'm supposed to make sure that I pick a mate that is compatible uh, with, with the life that I'm trying to live. Or we going, we have the same goals. We, we trying to go in the same direction. You know what I'm saying? Or we can create something together that benefits us in together. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? So I chose to be in this relationship with this person. I chose to be in this marriage. You know what I'm saying? So why am I fighting against the person? Hey. You know what I'm saying? And we find that a lot. You know, you chose you. And when we sitting there, we like, wait a minute. Didn't y'all pick each other? Was this an arranged marriage? Yeah. Did was somebody, this a shotgun shot, wedding? Yeah. Who, who you know? put the pistol in your back? <laughs> you know. And when, because you, you, if if you're not mindful of that, man, you'll really start taking jabs at the person. Yes, absolutely. I'm so serious. We we, we see it all the time. That okay, it, the the we sit down with a couple. And um, then they lay their issue out on the table. And as pastors, we have to keep them focused on the issue. And not each other. Because it, immediately the conversation will go, go to a me against you kind of deal or you against me kind of deal. And that ain't that you. And, and if two hot headed people are in the same room, they can't it's even see the enemy. Yeah. <laughs> they can't see the enemy and how he's attacking. And um, here's what another thing. I can't. I can't help him pass. I got, I got to bring the Bible got back into it. This is what it is. <laughs> Brew, what up, man? Brew on this thing, man. Appreciate you uh, locking in, big dog. Um, the Bible asks it in the form of a question: Can two walk together except they agree? Step. Like, is it possible for two people <laughs> to walk together that's not in agreement? Absolutely not, because here's the thing, as there can be a false sense of agreement, whereas everything is good and everything works out and, and, and we all good and we so much in love and all that stuff. But I guarantee you two different people with two different backgrounds, two different understandings, two different upbringings. At some point, we're going to disagree. Absolutely. At some point, my method is going to be better than hers and she's going to feel her method is better than mine. But here's the deal. Do you have a tiebreaker? Because the goal is to get back together. So one thing that we were we we were going to talk about it, but might as well just bring it up now. Do you have somebody that's a, that, that that holds your relationship or your marriage accountable? Absolutely. Who talks to you when then when y'all when y'all can't figure it out? Y'all prayed about it. Y'all went to the word, and, and it don't seem like y'all we nobody want to be in or nobody want to budge. Who do you talk to? Mm -hmm. See, and that's the thing about it. we we always we have we have our accountability uh, couple, you know, which is our pastors. Absolutely. Right? And this is the one thing we try to do when we come into counseling because I'm going to say this because this is the truth. This is people's uh, mindset when they come into counseling. Oh, she a woman, so she gonna side with her, and he yeah. a man, so he <laughs> gonna side with him. So they already gonna pick. They already done picked a side. No, Not I'm a all. woman, and if you are wrong as a woman, I will call. Hey, that's that's. <laughs> Set no, don't do that. Yeah. You're wrong. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it has to be that way. We can't pick sides as as a couple, and that's why we feel like we're great accountability partners. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, we 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 the gave was, our, hey, man, look, we the gave our pastors the blues, and they have no problem <laughs> saying straight up, "Hey man, you out of line." You ain't yeah. spending no time with that woman. Mm -hmm. You ain't loving on that woman. You ain't doing what you're supposed to be doing. You not and. Hey, as a man, uh, if you if you interested in your relationship growing or getting better, you take that on the Absolutely. chin. Hey, it, it is what it is. Um, I, you you gotta have somebody that um that that cares enough about the both of you to, that want to see y'all together. And a lot of times, the problem is you find people that uh are, that already didn't like your spouse, and, and then <laughs> now you trying to you trying to confide in them. Yeah. And and I you told, know they go. I told you not to do that. I, I told you before you even got married, he wasn't no good. He was a dog for I guess. Oh man, cut that out, man. You got to find somebody that 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 can speak into your marriage, that Absolutely. can speak into your relationship, that can speak into your engagement, and make sure that y'all staying on the right track. Absolutely, that's important, man. So uh, and here, that's here, why we say too, ahead, and I say ahead. this. That's why we say too. The same friends that you have pre marriage possibly won't be the same friends that you have post-marriage uh, you know what i'm saying yeah. because you know your homegirls i had homegirls when before i got married you know we used to go clubbing we used to go we used to drink we used to um um before i gotta say we used to smoke we used to do all that together you know what i'm saying but post-marriage my husband didn't like that you know what i'm saying and i couldn't keep i had a, i had babies you know what i'm saying praise I jesus going to the, i can't keep going to the uh, all the parents all the parents <laughs> on here say i got babies <laughs> 
Uh, sometimes now, hang out forget. every now and then. You know, uh. when I was a pastor, I don't. You know what I'm saying? But for for others, you know, hang out every now and then is is is, is all right because you need some girl time. You need yeah. some wait time. But hang out, hang out for us. It's like ten o'clock. Yeah, I got, I got. Because be they, I mean, it, we could be balling. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you know what I'm talking about, man. You we used to be able to be up all night. <laughs> now, by nine thirty, ten o'clock, I'd be on some. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I, Time is flying. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> is it just me? Or? <laughs> <laughs> so, nah, man. But you, you got to There's more. There's more that you guys can get done when you choose to work together. There's Absolutely. more that you, that can be accomplished. If you're working together, that's more that could be accomplished if you understand that the person that's sitting next to you is not your enemy. Yes. God would not allow you. Uh, he, he, why, why would he purposely let you just go through with something or be with a person that is going to make you miserable for the rest of your life? Yeah. Now, here's the deal. He throws signs out there. A lot of times we just ignore it. He'll let you know if that person is a, is a scumbag. He'll let you know if that person is, is going to be nothing more than uh, for the rest of your life a headache that's going to always blame you, that's never going to take accountability, that's never going to work with the team, that's always going to point the finger at whoever's not doing whatever they're supposed to be doing. He'll show you that in advance. And for a lot of y'all, man, that's not technically married right now and you're probably in a relationship, don't ignore the signs. Together we win. Together we win. If we can't get together while we're dating, if we can't come to an agreement while we're dating, it don't magically get better yes. once you go across the because, altar. And that's another thing. We have there. There are people in in we're in the life in in the life. There are people in the world. There are people in life that believes that once I get that piece of paper, everything is gonna magically. Nah, happen. big dog. That's not true. Um, some nah. people, you know, some people can't have a mind uh, renewal once they get married. You in, know some what I'm saying? in In some, in most some cases, but. The piece of paper does not determine <laughs> whether that person is going to, is not going to make that person change. Just like we used to say back in the day, you know, a baby ain't going to make a man stay. A baby nah, ain't going to make a, bro. you know what I'm saying, a, a, a woman a good woman, you know what I'm saying? Not at all. It's not, you can't put stock in a piece of paper. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, that, you know, there are some people who use that, you know, I don't need a piece of paper to be with the person I want to be with. There's all kinds of ways you can attack that. But, you know what I'm saying, that piece of paper, you know, if they were tripping out, beating on you before they got married, before y'all got married, you know, that, nine times out of ten, it's probably not just going to change all, all of a sudden. Oh, uh, in some <laughs> cases, it just might get worse because now that piece of paper might make you look like property. Ownership papers. Like, yeah. Like, like, yeah, slavery, yeah, like yeah. slavery days, you know, they got I, that piece of paper. Girl, I, I, got, own you. I got papers on you now. <laughs> I got papers on you. Like you you're know, a pit bull puppet. I got papers on you. <laughs> I got papers on it. It's making make this thing valuable. It's legal now. Nah, man. That's not how it works, man. So don't ignore the signs, man. I understand that whatever is happening, this person is not my enemy. You got to understand, man, when, when things are happening, when you got people in your life that's trying to divide you. Now, if you're just a gutter, gut bucket, scumbag of a person that like to beat on the other person or like to belittle the other person, I ain't with that. And I'll be the first one to, to say, I, I've, because I've seen it happen. I've had times in my life when I was supposed to counsel people or I've seen people that were supposed to tell somebody to get a divorce uh, and you didn't because you were trying to, you, you were confounded by what the word said. And I understand what the word said, but the word also says that you're supposed to love your spouse as, as Christ loved the church from a male point of view. And as a woman, you're supposed to submit. And if these two things aren't working, then that means you're going against the, uh, the, the cold of covenant of marriage. So it, it's not just uh, hitting and cheating. Yes. If you ain't loving, if you're not doing what the whole totality of it, then we're not supposed to be together. But that being said again, hey, man, we got to make sure that, that you know for sure that this person is not your enemy. Mm -hmm. A house divided against itself cannot, cannot will mm -hmm. not, ain't going, mm -hmm. however you want to say it, whatever your vernacular <laughs> might be, mm -hmm. it ain't going to work. What well, say, Rio? I pay my ties, you pay your ties. <laughs> How you said Everything that gonna be alright, big dog. <laughs> Y'all already know, Rio. <laughs> Y'all already know. I ain't mad. Why, why you on, yo? <laughs> me and my, now me and my wife both looking at you. We telling you, tell them right quick. Tell, tell Ario I said come to church. Come to church, Ario. Ario. <laughs> he got my my son. You because we he would say your name. My son will call you Oreo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
But uh, <laughs> <laughs> right on. But man, you, hey, we we get on here and we do this thing because Absolutely. we love y'all, man. We want to see we want to see every relationship yes. grow, get better, and and we care about that, man. So know that the person that you're with, just because y'all have a disagreement or a difference in opinion, if if y'all difference of opinion is based on the goal, then you're still in good shape. And then, and then, um, when you have a difference of opinion, you know, I'm willing to, you know, let's let's listen to each other's side. Let's hear each other out, okay? And let's figure out the best tactic for us as a team. You know what I'm saying? It's not I do my thing, you do your thing, and whoever wins, that's who wins. Yeah. Just don't know. Because I, what dumbest, what what did it, what did that accomplish? And I'm gonna tell you, that's the dumbest stuff ever. Don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excrement, defecation, feces, that's whichever you, whichever one you that's, that's fill in the dumb. blank. Don't do that. Yeah, <laughs> we, we, gotta gotta be, we gotta be on the same page. Yeah, I got my group project. You got your group project. We'll see who make it. I'm gonna gather my team. You gather your team. No, yeah. we the team. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and we the best. <laughs> you know, but, so, but it, it has to. It has know to that, man. Way. Know that together. Together we win. Together, together the power of agreement is a, a strong thing. There's so many things that we can say right now that happened in our life because we came together and we didn't fight against each other. Mm -hmm. We fought to get to the goal. Yes. And, and now we're able to live the life that we're living. Not mm -hmm. saying that we're living the best life in the world, but I always say unashamedly uh, and, and, and with no hesitation, we live a good life. <laughs> yeah. My <laughs> wife and I, yeah, I know she probably thought <laughs> I was going to say something crazy. <laughs> we as a family I come to that. Hey man, right on man. You know we love to have you. Amen. You already know that man. We love to have you. We so do um, everything that you can amen. to get on the same page. To get and and uh, one thing we used to we talked to our pastors about. Uh, we got five more minutes. One thing we talked to our pastors about is the uh, the agreeing to disagree. Because they were talking about the power of agreement with us. And we were like, well, sometimes we just agree to disagree sometimes because we can't come to a compromise or we can't come to a healthy conclusion. Or And he was like, that is absolutely wrong. Absolutely. There is no power in agreeing to disagree. Yeah. Because when you two get on the exact same page and y'all are moving the, in the exact same direction and you both are sure about what you're doing, nothing on earth can stop you. Yeah. You know so one saying? of the things he said, okay, so here's the reality of that. Okay, we said we agree to disagree and and, and move forward. And, and how, how there's no power coming from that because nobody's in agreement. Yes. Here's the thing that you, you, you got to know. Okay, if I have an opinion, she has an opinion. We try to come together, but um, the opinions don't work. Mm -hmm. Nine chances out of ten... Mm. We'll go with mine. Wanna know why? Cause the Bible says. Oh, I was like, <laughs> Cause I, I, I know she she was. Come on, just stay with me. Stick with me. Stick with me. Come on back. Come on back. Get back in the screen. He is the head. If you uh, if you feel like again, and we said it last week, if you're with somebody that you feel like you can't submit to, yeah. you in the wrong relationship. Sometimes, sometimes it's just okay. I, you got your way, I got my way. It ain't working. I trust you. You my man of God. You the, you the husband. You you the, you the head of this house. I'm a ride with you. But that's why we take so much time to talk a thing out because there might be fragments of my argument and fragments of our argument that if we just put together. We can come to some kind of common ground. Because sometimes God will do that. Sometimes he'll give you a piece and he'll give him a piece. Absolutely. And he wants y'all to work together to put the pieces together. It's like a puzzle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You put the you work together to put the puzzle together to get the whole picture. You know what I'm saying? So don't be so caught up on the piece that you have. And then he's caught up on the piece that he have. That y'all puzzle. Y'all putting all the wrong pieces in the wrong places. Or you got two one puzzle in, in two different Areas of the table. Hey man, you, you trying to figure out why your uh, your uh, your Superman and your Transformers not caught? <laughs> That's two different puzzles. <laughs> it's not gonna match. It's yeah. not gonna match. Your Superman like Optimus Prime. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> get it together, man, it. and get your pride out the way. Absolutely. Get your pride out the way. Just It'll kill you. That pride stuff is killing people every day, man. Absolutely. Every day that pride stuff is killing, killing marriages, people, man. It's killing relationships. It's killing people. It's killing uh, abundance. It's killing overflow. We watching people physically, their bodies physically break down yes, because of pride. 
Yes, indeed. No, no. And I mean, I'm so serious when I say that people's bodies are physically breaking down because of pride. Not, not even just in relationships, just in living life, period, man. I got so much pride. I don't want to ask nobody for no help. I don't want to tell nobody I'm in trouble. I don't want to tell nobody, man, we on the rocks. We on the verge of breaking up. We on the verge of divorce. So instead of doing that, I want to keep up this image and this facade, and it's killing me. My body is physically breaking down. I'm not able to maintain the load it takes to carry two people. And, and 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 I see my life going down, man. So get that pride stuff out of the way, man. Whoever's got the best idea, roll with that. Yes. Come together, do everything that you can to try to be in agreement because together we win. Absolutely. Every time. Scrape up. Every time. Scrape. Yes, indeed. Scrape. So we Did hope I say that y'all, uh, you said scrape. Okay. So <laughs> we hope that y'all got that. We hope that. Something that we said has uh, caused your thinker to begin to, uh, the, the, the dust, cobwebs to be removed off of your thinker. Absolutely. <laughs> if you're laying in bed with your spouse right now, look over and say, you're not the enemy. Yep. You're not, you're the, not enemy. the enemy. <laughs> you're not the enemy. You're not the enemy. It's the issue. It's not you. Yep. You're not the enemy. Let's tackle the issue. Not right on. one another. Right on. You know right on. Saying? No low blows. Because you get nowhere attacking one another. Absolutely you get, not. You will get absolutely nowhere going at one another and that's the enemy's tactic that's one of his tactics to get you focused on going head button with each other that you don't even tackle the issue yeah you know what i'm saying you forget all about the issue you like man that ain't i'm i'm going at you right now so that over there can wait and it'll wait till i finish cutting yeah. you down now you take you know that opportunity that's... to get back at me about something that happened last week yeah that ain't how that work big dog yeah that ain't how that works. So, again, together we win, man. Look, check us out. The Marriage Builders on Facebook. The Marriage Builders. Uh, YouTube. The Marriage Builders again. Uh, you check out a whole lot of old... I did this video from the day. A lot of old videos that we've already put on. Things that we've talked about before. And if you see something or ride with something or rock with something that we're saying, share it. Amen. Quit ball hogging, Kobe. Amen. Pass the ball. So we upload old videos to YouTube. Kobe? The Marriage Builders. There, There is somebody, there is someone on Facebook. Pass Apple the ball. Okay. Called just Marriage Builders. <laughs> but we are The Marriage Builders. So you can watch old videos there. Um, Squared up. Um, and just leave your comments and let us know what you think. Hey, man. Hey, so, man. man, again, man. I is think it bad? Man. She's not my spouse, but I told her she's not the enemy. I have to give me. Or I have to get married first. No, because okay, so I mean that's a good question. That's an absolutely good question. If really. you, you, no, that's not bad because if you're not agreeing before you get married, yeah, it's just gonna get saying? worse. It's just gonna get worse. So if we say that courting is a training ground, you know what I'm saying? That's where you do you you find out um, what that person is made of and what you together means. You know what I'm saying? And then marriage just enhances it, gets better because. That piece of paper, we were talking about the piece of paper earlier. That piece of paper to us says, I brought God into my relationship. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people use it as ownership papers, but no. That piece of paper to us means that we brought I've God into our relationship. with God. Yes. You know, so Absolutely. before you get married, and we did that too. You know, we didn't live together before we got married. We didn't, you know, do a lot of things before we got married. Nah. But we now, we did. We did. No, we are not going to sit up here and act like we was flawless. We failed. <laughs> before before we got married, I right, went for the went for the play that game with people and make them everybody yeah. think that boy we, we love we we walked it all the way out with yeah. the Lord. <laughs> now nah, we fail. <laughs> Fine as I am, she couldn't keep her hands off me. Wow. So, uh, can wow. you can you fault her for failing? <laughs> It happened, but here's yeah, the thing: man. like, like, like my wife said, though, real straight up, man, it's not y'all. You got to learn how to be in agreement before you even get to that point. Yes. Here's the thing, man: we big boys and oh, big there's girls. There's potential for it. Absolutely, you know we big boys yeah. and we big girls. We've taken a lot of bullets for counseling people that are not married. Now we're not going to give you mar marital advice, or, or, or yeah, we're not going to tell you things, the things that we would tell married people, but we're going to give you tools to work on before you actually get married. Mm -hmm. That's a way that we counsel people yeah. that are married, and that's a way that we counsel people that are engaged or potentially get married. Yeah. But even right now, at this at the phase that you're in, she cannot be the enemy. Mm -hmm. She cannot be the enemy. Not she she cannot be. So keep the keep the issue at the forefront and mm -hmm. not the person. Mm -hmm. 
always keep the issue at the forefront, not the person. And I, I, I know you, and, and and I know I know the lady, and and man, that, that girl love you, man. She love you. So if 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 you know she the one, I strongly suggest, man, make that official. Go ahead and do that. What you waiting on? But in the meantime, she's not. She's absolutely not the enemy. So, you know, kiss again, like we said before, keep the issue at the forefront, not yep. the person. Mm -hmm. uh, whatever little personal jabs you want to take at her, don't take it at her while, while in, a, in the heat of conflict, you know? So, feed me advice. I'm hungry. The Lord put you in my life for a reason. Amen, man. I appreciate that. And I don't take that. We, we, we don't take that for granted. Amen. Real straight up, man. I, I pray for you like I pray for people. That that's member at our church. Amen. I do because I my heart is for my heart is for people. Period, man. So, um, come ride with us. Come rock with us, man. You you got my number. My number ain't never changed, man. Call me if if if, if you need to talk or whatever. Hit me up. I'm around. Amen. My wife around. So that's what we do, man. We want to see relationships get better. Uh, our pastors were talking about it a lot of times. Um, I, and I know I went back and looked at it. And if you are, please don't take this as as a racist statement by any means. But us. As a group, hey man, we gotta start modeling what good marriages are, yep. what good relationships are. Man and woman working. Together. Man and woman working together, mm -hmm. accomplishing goals. Yep. We, uh, our kids gotta see that, man. We gotta, we gotta set a new normal for our children. So that's what we're doing, man. And if we dropping seeds, and this is something that you can grow on, holler at us. And if you haven't came and kicked it with us yet, man, Impact Christian Center, twenty four zero three Hare Street. Come holler at us, man. Come spend some time with us. I guarantee you're going to enjoy the service. If you do not like to be hugged, do not come to our church. <laughs> because we love people. We love it, it, it's, a, it's a mandate that starts from the top. It starts from our cover and it works its way down. We love people. Everybody has a right to feel and, and get love. Amen. So that's what we try to do. Amen. Again, the marriage builders, come kick it with us. September the 10th, we rolling. Building an empire. You want to know how to build an empire? Come holler at us. We finna run this thing down. She ain't cooking. I ain't Lucius. <laughs> I'm definitely not cooking. Yeah, nah. I don't, I don't think I could. I could roll with that. I don't think I could keep that facade up. <laughs> nah, big dog. I ain't built like that. Yeah, please keep, please keep your hands to yourself. Cause I seen her slap Lucius, and I'm I'm one. I'm a man of the mindset of whoever gets to the phone first. <laughs> The other one's going to jail, <laughs> and I'm pressing full charges. <laughs> She's crazy. She's crazy, officer. <laughs> so again, man, love y'all. Kendra, my kinfolk. Hey, sugar lump, sugar plum. Love y'all, man. Appreciate y'all. Joe Bailey. So please hop it on this thing, man. Rebroadcast re it. Yeah, yeah man. Uh, it's, 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 it's a lot that we that we shared today, man. But. Thank y'all so much. Those they they come on early with us at eight thirty and kick it with us, man, and ride it all the way out to hear what we gotta say. We don't take it for granted. Trust me, we pray for y'all just as hard as we pray for the people that we're in covenant contact with. Uh, we appreciate y'all, man, and and all the shares that we've been getting, and all the inboxes, and all the thank yous, and yes. all the people that uh don't want to you know publicly expose whatever's going on. Uh, they get get with us in our inbox. We talk to them too. Yep. So we just believe in trying to help people, man. So we rolling. Joe Bailey, my man. <laughs> love you, bro. Um, that we said, love y'all. Um, we'll go ahead and pray. Yeah, let's pray. Amen. Let's pray. Father, thank you so thank much. You, thank you, God, for allowing us to see another day, for keeping us, guiding us, protecting us, covering us, holding us in the palm of your hand. Father, those that are broadcasting live right now, rebroadcasting, we pray, Father, that today is a day that you have made and that you're going to get the best out of us today. Yes, Father, Father, we will not allow the people around us to adjust our thermostat and make us hot or cold. Yes, We've already set the temperature before we left and we're going to maintain the same attitude throughout the day. Yes, Help us, Father, to be what you called us to be. Help us to be better parents, better husbands, better wives, better aunts, better uncles, better sisters, better brothers, whatever the assignment. Help Help us to get better at it every day. We thank you, Father. We appreciate you. And we thank you for every testimony that's coming out of this day. Whether you're watching live or rebroadcasting, we believe greatness and prosperity all over your life. We thank you and we love you. And we give you all praise, honor, and glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank y'all, Periscope. Thank y'all, Facebook Live. We love y'all. Y'all have a great day on purpose, in purpose. And remember, I love you as only Pastor L can. Peace. <laughs> Is it Keith? Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, hashtag.
Uh, I'm on Impact Tour. Hashtag is bigger than me. Hashtag moving forward. Hashtag no review mirrors. Hashtag this is worth fight for. The biggest hashtag of them all. Don't just leave. Make the impact. Love y'all. We got the keys. Keys. Key. I know the. I'm a, uh, I'm a, bye y'all. Good night. I, got the, I mean, good. Have a great day. Straight up. <laughs> Love y'all, Love man. Y'all. Bye well, bye. I'll be later. Big.